Hey guys, it's Raina. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be doing a morning get ready with me. Every product that I use in this video will be listed down in the description box below. And please remember to give me a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm and it lets me know that you guys like these kind of videos so I can keep making them. And I also wanted to say thank you guys for all your support because my channel wouldn't be where it is right now without you guys. So I wanted to say thank you and let's just get started with the video. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my sea sponge and this is actually from Whole Foods. I've been loving it because it's environmentally friendly. So definitely a favorite. And then I'm going to grab my Eco Love shower gel. I always use a shower gel before I use my actual soap. And this gel is 100% vegan, no parabens, no petrochemicals, all that. So this is definitely another favorite of mine. Now I'm going to grab my raw sugar cold pressed vanilla bean plus sugar um, scent and I really love this scent. What I love about it is it's so simple like it's not heavy, it's not overbearing, it's a very light scent which is great for every day so this is definitely an everyday scent that I use. I'm going to be grabbing my oil moisturizer and this is a moisture that seals for 24 hours which is why I love to use this every day. This has sunflower oil, jojoba oil, and marula oil which I love how light it is. It's super super light so I always put on an oil before I actually put on a lotion. The lotion that I'm using in this video will be the Avalon Organics and I've had this lotion for a minute. Um, I think I've had it for a year. I've had this for a super long time. It's super nourishing and it is a lavender scent and I love lavender. Lavender is more so like a nighttime kind of scent, but I like to smell like lavender because that's what I use on my laundry as well. And this is also a vegan lotion. Now I'm going to be using the Sugar Berry Good Chemistry Perfume. What I like about this perfume is it smells so sweet. If you have a Target near you, go ahead and go to Target and smell it because it's in probably every Target because Good Chemistry I think is by Target. So definitely go check that out and let me know if you like the scent. So I'm going to start with my oral health. I use the Glide Floss because I just feel like it gets down in the nitty gritty in your mouth and I've just been using this for so long. toothpaste and I'm gonna put that on my electric toothbrush your tongue I brush my tongue off camera because I don't like when people show their tongues and I don't want to gag on camera <laughs> now I'm just gonna be doing my skincare routine I will do a video that's more detailed for my skincare routine I'm just doing the short version because I'm gonna have a video on it but right now I'm just using the CeraVe cleanser and I'm just rubbing that into my face 
But um, yeah, I'm gonna do a more detailed skincare routine because I have my acne routine and then my routine for eczema and all that. So that's coming up. So make sure you sub so you don't miss it. After that, I get my grapeseed oil. And not that much, but I love grapeseed oil because it's just so light. And I like grapeseed and I also really love almond oil. I'm just gonna rub that into my face. But I just love how light the oils are and it works in my hair, on my skin. So it's definitely a favorite. I don't actually plan on going anywhere today, but I do wanna put my wig on because I may wanna take some pictures later. And this is a super easy method. If you've seen me do this method before, you already know how easy it is. But I put my wig cap on. I get my got to be spray and I just I like to spray it on my fingers because I get to kind of control where it goes but if you want to you can directly spray it like on your hairline and I just go ahead and I smear it on the edge of my hairline And of course, I'm putting on my tired ass curly wig. I'm going to get a new wig. I want to get a long, maybe not long, but I do want a straight wig. And I've been wearing a lot of wigs lately because I don't feel like doing my hair. <laughs> so there's that. Let's see. <laughs> my forehead is so big. Okay, so I grab my wig, right? And I just put that because like every time I put on a wig, I take a little bit off my forehead. Like I cover like probably half an inch of my forehead because I'm like my forehead is already really big. Anyway, so I get my blow dryer and I'm going to blow it down to just make sure everything sticks. makeup right now if you want the full deets on like the makeup I'm using definitely look in the description box below because in there I have all the links and I have some affiliate links which really helps to support my channel if you guys want to support me you know only if you want to support me, definitely, if you're interested in these products, go buy in the description box. I've already seen you guys purchase some things from it, so thank you so, so much. Because, honestly, like, this channel would be nothing without y'all support, so, thank you. Anyways, yeah, I do my brows. And my brows are so simple. Like, I wanted to do one video just for them but come on i already showed this tutorial in my um which one call video enhancing your features so i think they look fine plus i'm not really going anywhere today so this makeup look will be really really simple now i am just getting the dior foundation and i'm just gonna pat that all over honestly what i really should have done is get some rubbing alcohol to get the glue off all of the glue but i don't even think i got too much on my face so i think i'm fine because when you have like wig glue when you have the got to be glue on your face while you do makeup it does leave like a white cast wherever you put your foundation so definitely always make sure that you rub that out with rubbing alcohol and you won't even have to worry about that but i remember in one of my vlogs my vlog when i was applying for the strip club when I was applying to be a bartender there, I told you guys, that was the first time that I unboxed this wig. And I told you guys that I would let you know if I like it because I don't want to just tell you guys I like something and I just got it and I don't even know how it works. Obviously, I like the wig. I've been wearing it in so many videos. So, yes, I really do like the wig. 
definitely getting another wig that company that i did buy from i love the packaging so i'm thinking like i want to buy another wig from them like a long or maybe like a medium length i want to do light brown like what do you guys think i feel like i don't have light brown and my hair is already black well my hair is dark brown but i dye it black what i haven't been liking lately is like you guys know that i just got my new dior um foundation because my last one i ran out so i had to go get a new one and <laughs> like literally i go to sephora and she's like do you need me to um match you for like foundation or whatever and i'm like yeah because like i forgot to check the number of the foundation before i left the house so like i forgot what number i had that i ran out of she's like okay well let me um shade match you so she gets the shade and she puts it on in the mirror and like lifts it next to my skin i'm like girl like what is this supposed to do i mean i understand because of covid but i feel like there are some ways that you could shade match people right now that will you know also help per like without spreading covid you know what i mean girl shade match like I can't tell this is my color because you could always put a mirror up to something with a foundation and it's not your color. You have to see how it looks on your skin in light, you know? But yeah, I thought that was funny. But yeah, I also purchased this Laguna bronzer and I've actually, oh no, I don't want to get it everywhere. I've actually been loving it. I just love NARS. I love NARS. Even though NARS, I feel like... They don't have a, a really good range when it comes to bronzers, like for skin tones and stuff. I like their, um, I like how their product feels. But anyways, I'm not going to be putting on too much makeup. I really don't even know if I'm going to put on mascara because I hate taking mascara off. I feel like no matter how much makeup remover I put on, I can't get all of my mascara off. So I don't really like mascara. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, I don't really wear falsies or like lash extensions. And I think that's just because I don't like how they, like especially um, falsies, I don't like how they look on me. But my best purchase ever with makeup is definitely this NARS Orgasm. I've gotten into blush a lot lately, like a lot. And I just, I love it. I love blush. You guys know that I like to comment back on all the messages you guys send me under my youtube i always always try to respond to all of you guys and you know i uploaded a video well, i uploaded two videos right and one was like d appointment and then the other one was um head appointment i don't really think i'm gonna do videos like that anymore well first of all i don't have to because i feel like i put all the information that you all needed in those videos but also like people get really annoying to me people still act like sex is a really taboo subject which i guess i understand but like i don't because if you watch the video i'm not shaking my ass and i'm not showing my titties and shit i'm literally just sitting down telling you guys i feel like it's a really mature way too because i feel like people were some people not all people because a lot of you guys were supportive or people were just i don't know i just got a lot of stupid comments in the on those videos to where it's like i don't even want to record videos like that anymore just because of the way people act is really childish to me but at the same time it's youtube you know you can't always expect people to like everything that you post and everyone's gonna have different opinions which i'm really good at taking negative comments and like opinions because I don't care because at the end of the day I'm the person putting myself like on a platform on public versus like somebody just commenting something petty they're not on a platform so they don't know how it feels to kind of put yourself out there if you guys understand what I'm saying like it's a lot different when you can hide behind like an avatar versus when you're actually on video so I don't know comments don't really get to me but it was just I just felt like it was annoying why wouldn't you want a video informing you on how to go about things I don't know girl 
apply that. Dang, I'm running out. I'm running out of everything. But this is one of my favorites too. I love this. Literally, as soon as you put it on your lips, you have this tingly sensation. So it's definitely like a plumper. Which I don't need a plumper, but if you guys do, then, or if you guys want to, I don't think small lips are unattractive. I don't know why that suddenly turned into a thing where people were like, oh, small and thin lips are so unattractive. I feel like it fits. A lot of women's faces I think it looks completely fine when someone has small lips it looks fine because you know not everyone's face looks good with big lips in my opinion I think this is it this is a really simple easy look I, I wonder do I want to just braid my hair because I'm about to make a smoothie yeah, I think I want to just braid it. We'll see. Let's braid it and let's see what it looks like. So since it's morning and I've already done my makeup, and on my whole routine I want to go ahead and make breakfast so I'm just gonna have a smoothie this morning just for breakfast because I don't like having a heavy breakfast so let's go ahead let's go to the kitchen and make a smoothie I am going to be using my magic bullet that I have I also have a ninja blender but it's just it takes so long to clean so I really like this because it's really easy I'm just gonna plug them in and I kind of just eyeball my smoothie I don't really measure because I already know exactly how I like it so I'm gonna get some yogurt this is the Chobani yogurt Greek yogurt it's just plain I think I'm just gonna put not all of it but This is great. I'm gonna get some vanilla extract, and this one's obviously a new one because I ran out of my other one. But I'm also not gonna put a lot, I'm just gonna put like that much is fine. And instead of putting sugar, I'm just going to put some honey. get in my frozen strawberries and I just honestly eyeball it like I think for this I think that's fine just put one more yeah that's fine then I'm gonna go ahead and put some almond milk
for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want a morning routine, I can also do that. So please let me know. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.